So the question here is, what is a sine of an angle whose tangent is 2? The problem is we don't know anything about the triangle, the angles, or anything. But let's just draw it. So let's say I have I'm trying to think about how I want to draw this to be somewhat to scale. And so what I was thinking is I have an angle here. We'll use this one right here at the bottom. So I definitely have a right triangle because we have trig functions. And I'm talking about that angle. And I wanted that angle, that tangent to be 2. So if the tangent is 2, the tangent of, I'll call this x, the tangent of x equals 2. What do we know about tangent? Yes? Yeah, so that means that if I take the tangent of x is equal to 2 over 1, that means my opposite side over my adjacent side is, has a ratio of 2 over 1. So that's why I kind of try to draw it like this, is so I have a ratio of 2 over 1. Now, does it matter if I called it 2 over 1? Could I have done 8 over 4? Yeah. yeah, it's the same thing. It still has a ratio, and it'll still have the same ra sine ratio, because we're talking about ratios here. So now, I want to find out what the sine of x is. Now, if you had a calculator, could you just find out what the actual angle is? Yeah, yeah. yeah we could just use an inverse tan function, get the angle measurement, and then work it that way. But what do we need to find out sine here? Yes? Uh, you need the hypotenuse. We need the hypotenuse. Because sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right? So I'm going to use my so in my so katoa. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So we can actually find out this hypotenuse length first. How do we do that? Uh, Pythagorean. Pythagorean theorem. So now you guys are so good at this, you should be able to do this without even writing down the Pythagorean theorem. What is the length of that side? Root 5. Root 5. <laughs> Perfect. So you get... You get 2 squared is 4, 1 squared is 1, 4 plus 1 is 5, square root, root 5. So now we have sine of x is going to be what? 2 over, root five. 2 over square root 5. Now the rule typically is that we don't want to have a rational, sorry, irrational number, a, a square root, a radical in the denominator. So we multiply both <coughs> numerator and denominator by root 5. So our final answer is 2 root 5 over 5. And that's good.